So let's say you bought a new dive watch. One of these solar-powered watches, or these solar-powered watches, or maybe one of these solar-powered watches, or one of these solar-powered watches, or maybe one of these solar-powered watches. What are you going to do when it's brand new? How are you going to get that thing charged up? Well, I'll show you what I do. I already have one of these over here. Well, I say that, and it starts to run away from me. I don't know where it got off to. I already have one in black. I decided I needed another one. One of the neat things about these is uh, they have these little rubber gaskets. So if you're charging this like at your desk uh, or your nightside table and you don't want the light pollution in the room, you can uh, use these rubber gaskets. Right? So we have a square one. We have a circular one. And then it comes pre-mounted with another circular one. But if you had a square face watch, you could match it with the square face uh, gasket here, a round face watch. Or if you had a very large, see, there's a different diameters. If you had a very large watch, like something like a, an Arnie uh, or a Tuna, then you can use it without. Let's get this plugged in so you can take a look. Like I said, this is my second one. I have a black one. That I enjoy as well. My goodness, I do send, I do tend to uh, use every possible USB port that I put on this thing. I'm going to have to get more USB. Oh, I'm such a weenie. Looky here. I've got one right here. Oh, I wonder about myself some days. Okay, so we'll peel off this. This has got two light settings. Right, so it's got low. It's got a low, or that's high and low, <clears throat> which is handy because you could, uh, this is also great for charging loom. You know, uh, if you've got a solar powered, uh, it'll charge the solar power battery for you, but it's also fantastic at charging loom because it has, uh, right? So you can see some light leaking. Right, so that would be really annoying, perhaps, at night. So you can put on one of the gaskets that fits properly, and now no light leaks out. So you could leave this on your nightside table or at your desk uh, and charge your watch. I find frequently that I'm buying solar-powered watches uh, just for convenience. When you get and them, when you sometimes get them, there's a little charge, sometimes a lot. But first thing I like to do is put them on... Uh, a charger like this and just let them sit overnight make sure that they're fully charged so check out that loom so not only not only is it good for charging batteries it will charge your loom as well All right so i i'd done this earlier uh with the black charger because i had purchased this g-shock and it, i was playing with it last night and it did not it was getting down to low and it didn't sink with the uh, atomic time. So then I put it on the charger and left it on the charger overnight. And then, of course, it's high. Apparently, these are supposed to run like 10 months or something without light. So it just had a residual charge. These are really handy. If you've got a lady's watch or a small watch, square face watch, most of mine are round. Right, 
right? No light pollution whatsoever. This one is a Arnie. Yeah, this is a solar, another solar di digital. A lot of the classic watches, they've been redoing them as uh, uh, solar, which is nice. You know, that means no more battery changes. I'd much rather get a watch like that and occasionally charge my watches with a little charger like this to keep them topped up and make sure that uh, I'll, I'll have a full charge if I'm going to take them on an adventure with me. Very nice. See, it charges that loom too. Well, I don't know what more I can say about this. This is a solid little charger. Uh, it's not expensive. It will run on USB power, and it will charge both your loom and your solar cell batteries. Like I said, this is the second one I have. I've got another one sitting around here. I just can't recall where I put it. Is that what? Ha! I'm so funny. It's right here. I knocked it off my desk. So this is the one I've been using. Uh, it's the same, but it's in the in the black version. And uh, so now I've got the gray version. So I can do two at one time. Anyway, that's how much I like it. I bought an extra one. I hope you found this review helpful.